Hey everybody, this is Ben Atkin at Coldwell Banker Property Management, and we're going to talk about the most important thing today, toilets. Here's tip number one, what to do if your toilet is running all the time, it's constantly, constantly filling with water. Okay, a couple of things to check on this one. First thing, first thing to check is right here. This is the chain that attaches to the lever to flush the toilet. Sometimes the, the only thing that's really happened is that this chain has kind of gotten caught, some of the links are tangled. All you need to do is untangle those and it'll be fine. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, the second thing that you need to check is whether or not your flapper has gone bad. So the flapper is this down here, this white piece. It plugs up the hole where this water goes to flush the toilet. If this has gone bad, then that means it's going to run water constantly. It's going to fill the tank because the tank will slowly be losing water into the, into the bowl. Okay, so here's your second tip. Imagine this. You've just gone to the restroom. Everyone does it. Don't be embarrassed. You try to flush the toilet. There's a clog and the water is slowly rising. Anybody know that feeling of panic? So here's how to fix that. If the water's rising, there's a problem. You want to turn off the water. You can do it two ways. Okay, so imagine the water's rising. You can tell that it's filling up. All you need to do to stop the water, pull up on the floater right there, okay? That's one technique. There's another way that you can do this. Uh, if that doesn't work or if there's an issue, <clears throat> you can come down here to the, <clears throat> to the ball valve and turn that off. Okay, that's a last resort, but that'll keep the water from overflowing and you can plunge it, you can get rid of the issue that way without an overflowing problem. Here's another tip, if your toilet's not flushing very strongly, if you need to press it down and hold it for a while and it just doesn't seem like it's a very good flush, it might be an issue with your float. It might be that the water's cutting off before it completely fills the tank. So at least on this toilet, kind of an older one, there's a little screw here that you can just screw this down. It'll lift up the float so that the water will raise a little bit more before it shuts off the water right here. So this is kind of an older one, but there are similar features on newer toilets as well. You can adjust the height of the water level to give it a stronger or a more calm flush. So if you're having issues that way, just raise, raise the level of the water and that might fix it as well. I just discovered something about this toilet that we really need to talk about, okay? And that's leaks. Take a look at this. You see down here, this is where the toilet meets the floor, obviously, and there's, there's caulk right there that seals it right there against the floor. You can tell right here, though, that there's a leak somewhere. Now that's a little bit dangerous. It could be coming from a couple of different places. It, it could be coming from above, and that looks like where it's coming from, where the tank meets the toilet right there. Or, this could even mean that there's an issue with the wax ring underneath the toilet. It's possible that there's a leak underneath the toilet, and it's actually rotting the subfloor. We need to be sure that we take care of any leaks, alright? I need to wash my hands now. You know, it seems like my videos that are gross get the most views. I'm not sure why that is.